the man of the moment. Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. Douglas Luiz plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Now the cutback. Clear deflection off the defender there. And short it is. Bailey. McGinn. Foiling his opponent completely. One block after another. And he's fired it against the post. He succeeds in clearing it. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular. What do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Oh, nice ball over the top. Cleared away comprehensively. Now can they counter clinically? Thomas Partey. Declan Rice. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Trossard. Rice. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? A chance to whip it in. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. White. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw-in. And that was a very fine read. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Chance here, and that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now. But these fans have suddenly come to life. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Reading it well. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And the referee's whistle, meaning that the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Villa Park. Well, he was one of their better players. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half.
still passing it around with authority. They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Bukayo Saka. Ben White. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Tomiyasu. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And keeping it out. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And there's the delivery. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Now, how about the short corner? A reminder, tickets for the next Throw into game. Arsenal coming up. After today's game. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Coming off the pitch, number 19, Leandro Trossard. To be replaced by number 11, Gabriel Martinelli. And space to cross it. Ben White. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Rogers. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Saka. And he saw the situation developing. Being pressed hard. Diaby. Aston Villa struggling to keep the ball. Gabriel Martinelli. Gabriel and Havertz Martin Odegaard and with the teams locked together Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner a disappointing end to the move Douglas Luiz Diaby On to Tiedemans. He's got a bad ball. Looked as though it might be the decisive goal, but the keeper had other ideas. Well, he's just saved his team here. What a reaction that is. And he's fired over the corner, but no one latched onto it. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? And teammates to play it to. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated.